I'm on the show floor here at Broadband World Forum 2012. I'm speaking with Steve Best. He's from BT Wholesale. So Steve, can you just tell us a little bit how the backhaul market has developed in the UK in the past couple of years? Yeah, I think the, the backhaul market um, for mobile network operators um, has, has developed in that the, the demand for bandwidth is just insatiable. So when we launched our Ethernet product in the UK um, over four years ago now, um, we had a significant uptake in customers, particularly in the mobile backhaul space. So we took, within six weeks, we took about £750 million pounds worth of contract value. And the last four years has been executing those contracts and supporting those mobile operators. The one thing that is really clear, as we roll out Ethernet um, to all of those base stations, is that the demand on a kind of per base station basis for bandwidth is increasing at a very rapid rate and our challenge is to be able to support that growth uh, and meet the needs of those mobile network operators uh, as their customer base evolves. And how are you seeing that market develop as the advent of 4G approaches in the UK? I think our major aim with 4G uh, is to make sure that our network is prepared for our customers to move to 4G. So we're doing a significant amount of investment and have been over the last couple of years to make sure that we're ready for the mobile operators to move from 3G to 4G. So investments are along the lines of rolling out synchronization capabilities over Ethernet with 1588 and SyncE capabilities. Um, we're also rolling out uh, an IPVPN capability to sit on top of the layer two Ethernet network, again to support 4G as customers move towards 4G. Uh, and then finally, in our voice interoperability space, if you like, we're supporting um, HD voice, uh, which is absolutely critical for the mobile operators as they move to a 4G environment, where all of their voice traffic will be 4G and will be um, sorry HD voice enabled. So there's lots of development in our network to prepare ourselves so that we're ready for our customers as they move on to 4G networks. What prospect is there of BT Wholesale offering a dark fibre product to alternative operators? BT's fibre assets sit wholly within the OpenReach domain. So BT OpenReach support fibre services uh, and we consume uh, input products from OpenReach. Within BT Wholesale, we have no plans or intentions of, of offering dark fibre uh, products in the marketplace. Uh, we would much rather offer fully managed end-to-end -end services in the same way that we do for some of the MNOs. So we would much rather take over the requirements uh, of our customers in terms of CPE provision, bandwidth growth, managing that network from an end-to-end -end basis. Uh, and as I say, we have no plans to, to launch uh, fibre-only solutions or dark fibre. We will provide wavelengths for our customers and grow those wavelengths as the customer's network evolves. And we have got a number of fibre networks that we manage on behalf of our customers where they want to outsource a lot of the activity in terms of operations, provision, repair and support. Um, but no plans to do dark fibre. So wholesale IP voice services, is that something that BT is seeing a lot of demand for? It's an enormous area of growth and probably our, um, our, one of our fastest growing products both in the UK for our wholesale market and also recently when we've launched the product uh, globally as well. It's one of our fastest growing products. So we've got a product called uh, IP Exchange um, that is, uh, has been live in the UK uh, for four years now and we've got over 150 service providers, carriers and mobile network operators connected to that product. Uh, and we've rolled out the product globally now um, uh, over the last eight months and we've got about 120 service providers uh, and mobile network operators that we've connected to providing IPX interconnect across that network. It's an enormous area of growth for us and one that we're focusing a lot of investment in. And actually I'm here today at the Mobile uh, World Forum to talk about uh, how you roll out HD or high definition voice into that space and dramatically improve the call quality that end users experience when they're making phone calls, either off fixed networks or off mobile networks. Our product is there to support that high definition end to end, increase call duration and improve the monetization of the product across the network. A massive product for us, a huge investment that we're putting into the market. And finally Steve, what would be your favorite movie of all time? <laughs> um, crikey. Let me think. Um, I guess as a kid, my favourite book was Lord of the Rings, which 
was absolutely brilliant. When it came out on film, I thought there is no way it can match the quality of the book, and it was amazing. So I guess that might be it, Lord of the Rings. Excellent, Steve. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.